you have, it has, there is some capital growth, but you haven't done anything to it. So if we, if we talk about a buy to let property, if we talk about a buy to let, what we'll have um, is a, is, is a, say, say, say this, we had, uh, we had zero, one, two, three, four. So these are number of years. And then when, when we actually bought it, say it was worth 100K, yeah? In the first year, uh, let's be optimistic. There's a, there's a lot of gloom go, uh, going around, eh? So let's, uh, let's, let's, optim <coughs> let's be optimistic and, uh, and, uh, and let's say actually property prices are, are rising. So there we've made say 105. Um, I don't know whether this is a good color. Uh, there, there we've made 110. There it's probably it's probably 120. Uh, we are really really doing fine. And there there it's about say 122. So you actually bought it at that at that amount. After one year, the value has actually increased to 105. Uh, thousand. In the second year, it's, a, it's increased there. In the third year, it, is a, it has increased there. In, in the fourth year, it has increased up to there. And you think, ah, I better probably cash it in. So, so here, you bought, you bought, and there, you've decided to sell. Yeah? So, at, at, at that point, because you've sold, your money has actually come in your pocket. So that gain that you get there is actually realized. Here, it has been going up in value. It's been going up in value, but you didn't actually pocket that gain, okay? So these, these there are un, unrealized. And once you, you, you sell there, it's realized, okay? So, so the, income, the income or the growth can actually be realized or unrealized. Does it make sense? Okay. So, 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 so in terms of, uh, in English, we're saying that uh, um, uh, realized capital growth is actually the, 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 the cash that, that has been invested, that has been taken out of the investment, normally via, via sales. 